Hello, and thank you for joining me in learning about database management systems. Our focus will be on design and implementation of relational database management systems. The details we do not need to worry about when we work with data while using the relational databases. Concepts such as storage, indexing, query processing and optimization, transaction management, and logging and recovery. In order to set the tone for design and development of relational database management systems, and remember the ease of use we gain by physical complexities we abstracted away from the user, we start by reviewing our knowledge about designing and using relational databases. This module is a review of the relational data model, databases, and SQL to prepare us for the discussions on details of implementing relational database management systems. This brief review starts with motivating our goal of learning about relational databases. We then review the definition of a data model and apply that to define the relational data model. Then we will have a quick review on SQL. Banks, airlines, transportation, school systems, libraries, online shops, and many other applications and services responding to our day-to-day -day needs use databases to store, add, delete, modify, and find huge amounts of data they need for their operation. Being able to handle the huge quantity of available data is becoming more and more important with the higher data generation rates. Data from users and user interactions with different systems, as well as data from sensors, systems, and machine-generated data. Maintaining quality of the data is also becoming increasingly important as our reliance on AI, machine learning, and the algorithms using data increases. Database management systems handle storing, adding, removing, modifying, searching, and maintaining proper working with data. These systems are complex systems that are essential part of supporting our reliance on data. A database is a collection of files that store related data of a service, application, or an organization. For example, a university database contains data about entities such as students, faculty, classes, and courses. It also contains data about relations among these entities. For example, faculty teaching courses or a student enrollment in a course. A database management system or DBMS is a software designed to store and manage databases. That is to store, add, delete, change, search, and maintain large collections of data representing such entities and relations. Oracle, IBM DB2, Microsoft SQL Server, MySQL, PostgreSQL, and SQLite are all examples of database management systems, commercialized and open source. A database management system is a fairly complex system to build and maintain. The challenges involved in building and maintaining database management systems comes from the different requirements we have from such a system. We need a database management system to be reliable. We need the DBMS to ensure the storage of our data and maintaining it in events of fault and system failure. We need it to be able to respond to multiple concurrent requests at the same time without causing a problem. We need it to show a good performance by responding to our needs within an acceptable time frame. We need it to be available and accessible and be able to ensure security of its users and its data. One of the well-known and most popular types of data intensive systems are relational databases. In this course, our focus is on relational database management systems, 
and how some of these challenges are addressed in design and implementation of relational database management systems.